And right. so one of the things was we had this whole scare going back to my generation between Chernobyl and Three Mile Island and now Fukushima. And yeah. we had like a bad rep. We yeah. had a bad rap, and now we have a new generation, several generations later. I mean, I've said for years you're eventually going to have what I call like the suitcase nuke that's going to power a neighborhood. What? And especially if people start, I mean, basically something the size of like a hot water heater. And that's what they're going toward because there's less possible, the, 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 the ecological damage of a small reactor melting down. And these things aren't even water cooled. They're air cooled. Mm -hmm. There's the, the chance of a meltdown is very slim. That's how powerful they are. So these new generations, like basically every neighborhood would end up having this small nuclear reactor and it would power the neighborhood. And, and that's what, what would happen if it melted down or whatever? Yeah, nothing. It'd be cool. <laughs> well, what about the big? I the, mean, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's small. small. I mean, the it's amount. It's not of, like the. It's not like yeah, a bomb. How, not, how big were the other ones that caused Chernobyl and all that? So I mean, there's a whole thing about rods and uranium and meltdown, and it's a whole. 